This is part 80 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the jQuery range slider with an example. Here is what we want to achieve. We want to capture the user's minimum and maximum age using this range slider. So let's see how to achieve this. The first step here is to implement the required HTML. So within the HTML, we first need this literal text age. Followed by that, we are going to include a span element to display the minimum and maximum age as we move these sliders. So let's go ahead and implement the required HTML. So first we need that little text age followed by that a span element to display the output. So I'm going to call this span output. And following this, let's include two HTML break elements. And following that, we need the range slider itself. So I'm going to include a div element. Let's give it an ID. Let's set it to slider let's include an HTML break. Now we need a label to display this text minimum age followed by that a text box similarly another label and then a text box. So let's include a label here and this label is going to display this text minimum age. Similarly let's include another label and this is going to say maximum age followed by the minimum age label we need a text box to capture the minimum age so input type equals text and let's give it an ID let's call it txt min age so basically this label right here is for this text box so I'm going to use the for attribute and specify the ID of the text box here okay similarly this label is going to be for a text box which is going to capture maximum age so let's change the ID here to txt max age and this label is for this text box so let's specify the ID of the text box in the for attribute of the label alright and in between these uh, text boxes let's include an HTML break in fact let's include two HTML breaks so let's save the changes and reload this page. So we should get a UI similar to what we have in our presentation except that we don't have the slider at the moment. Okay. Now to get the slider on this div element we have to call the jQuery slider function. So let's find this div element by ID. So let's use the jQuery ID selector, find the div element and on that I'm going to call slider function. So let's save these changes and let's reload our page. Now we should get a slider, but look at this. This is not a range slider. Okay. So if you want to get a range slider, all you need to do is set range option to true. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's pass a JavaScript object here and then specify our options. So we want a range validator, uh, range slider. So I'm going to set the range option to true. Let's save the changes, reload our page, and look at this. We should get a range slider. Okay, now let's say, you know, this is age. Let's say minimum age has to be at least 18. So I'm going to set min and maximum age here. So let's specify the minimum value. Minimum, let's say it's 18. Maximum, let's say it's 100. Okay, now what we want to do is as we move the minimum and maximum age sliders, we want to display, you know, the minimum and maximum age here, you know, within the span element. So I'm going to make use of slide event. So this is the event that is raised when we slide, you know, the slider. Okay, so let's specify the callback function. So this function is going to receive two parameters, the event itself and the element that triggered the event. So in this case, the slider is the element that triggered the event. Okay. So within the event handler, what do we want to do? Within the span element, we want to display our result. Now what I'm going to do is actually create a variable here. And let's call the span output equals dollar actually let's change the ID to output I mean the variable name to output span because the ID of the span element is already span output so just to differentiate between the two I'm calling it output span and let's find 
the span element by ID. So the ID of the span element is span output. So I'm going to reuse this variable. That's why I'm caching the element. OK, so we are going to use that output span variable and I'm going to use the HTML function. So what do we want to display? We want to display the minimum and maximum age as we move the sliders. Okay, so we can use this UI element to retrieve the value. So UI dot values property. Okay, we want values of zero property. That is going to give us the minimum age. Okay, and to that we want to append a dash and then we want to retrieve the maximum age value and maximum age value is present at index position 1 within that values array. Okay, and to that let's go ahead and append this text years. Okay, so basically we want minimum dash maximum years. Okay, so let's go ahead and save our changes. Reload this page. So now look at this. I am moving the maximum years. Notice that we have specified the minimum to be 18. That's why you know it displays the minimum age as 18, maximum as we are sliding this. Notice that that gets updated. Now when we move the minimum age slider, notice that it gets updated as well. Okay, now let's say when the web form first loads, we want the minimum age, you know, the minimum age slider to be at 20 and maximum age slider to be at 30, for example. If that's the case, you can specify the values using values property. So values, and let's say the default values for minimum age is going to be 20 and max is going to be 30. All right, so let's save our changes, reload this page. Now when the web form loads, look at that, it's at 20 and this is at 30. Now within that span element, we want to display the minimum and maximum age when the web form initially loads. To do that, what I'm going to do is reuse this output span element. So within our jQuery ready function, when the web form loads, what I want to do is use the HTML function and display the current min and max values you know, the default min and max values. Now here, within the context of this HTML function here, we don't have this UI parameter. So what I'm going to do is actually use this slider element itself, okay? Um, so let's actually cache that. So I'm going to call the slider element equals dollar hash slider. Okay, so that's going to find our div element. So let's use this variable instead of finding it in the DOM once again. And here, I'm going to use that div element. And on that, I'm going to call the slider function. And, you know, I'm going to ask the slider function for values property. Okay, and I want the value that is present at index position zero. Okay, so that's going to give us the minimum age. And to that, we want to append this dash and we want maximum value. So maximum value to retrieve that, we are going to use the same, except that the index position here will be one. And to that, we want to append years word. Okay, that's it. So let's go ahead and save our changes reload the page. So look at that. Initially, the values are 20 to 30 years. As we move the minimum age, that gets updated. Maximum age up gets updated when we move the maximum age slider. Now, the next thing that we want to do is when we, you know, scroll this, we want to display them, you know, whatever slider we scroll, slide, we want to update the corresponding values within the span element. But as soon as we stop a slider, at that point, we want to retrieve the minimum age, maximum age, and then display them in the respective text boxes. So I can use stop event handler for that. Okay, so that is the event raised when we stop sliding, right? So I'm going to use stop option and then associate a callback function. So I'm actually going to make a copy of this. Now we want to find the text box element. So T 
txt min age is the id of the minimum age text box so let's find it by jquery id selector and on that i'm going to call the val function and what do we want to display here we want to display the minimum age value so we can get minimum age value using ui dot values of zero okay and similarly we want to retrieve the maximum age value and we can do that by replacing this index position with number one okay and similarly when the web form first loads what I want is display the minimum and maximum age within these respective text boxes okay just like how we are displaying the minimum and maximum age in the span element and for that here let's find the minimum age text box by ID and the value of that I can use the same code right similarly let's find the max age text box and we want the value that is present at index position 1 so let's save our changes reload our page and look at this when the web form initially loads you know we have the current values displayed in the span element and in the respective text boxes as we slide look at that the value in the span element gets updated but not in the minimum age text box now when I stop sliding that's when the value will be updated within the minimum age text box similarly when we move the max age slider look at that span element gets updated but not the text box as soon as we stop sliding that's when the text box is updated but if you want you know the value to be updated dynamically in the respective text boxes then instead of using stop event handler you could use slide event handler so if we move this code into slide event handler then you know as you move the slider the values within the respective text boxes will be updated let's reload our page and quickly test this look at this as we are sliding both the span and text box elements are updated. So here is the HTML and the jQuery code. Thank you for listening and have a great day.